103 unit 11 look at with me about question number one the rectangular prism is a space three dimensions we can write three here what about rectangular prism we called it cuboid it's cuboid here we call the cuboid or rectangular prism is three dimensions shape x and we have x here three dimensions x and y and z x and y and z we have three dimensions here okay it shows that are c question number two the cube has space faces the cube has six faces we have cube here what about face one two three four five six six faces and what about vertices eight vertices one two three four five six seven eight we call it vertices and we have 12 edges Then the result here, we want to find basis right six. Choose the letter P. About question number two. Question number three. The number of edges. The number of edges of cube. We have twelve edges. Question number three. Write twelve. Choose the letter D. Question number four. The sphere, which has zero faces, zero edges and zero vertices we call it sphere it's like the ball okay we called what sphere the sphere hasn't face or hasn't faces and hasn't vertices hasn't any edges okay we call that sphere the shape which has zero faces and zero edges and zero vertices we call it sphere shows that our c Question number five, which of the following has eight vertices? Eight vertices, we can choose letter B, rectangular prism or cuboid. We called it rectangular prism or cuboid. Okay. Rectangular. Rectangular prism. Question six. The sphere has zero edges. Sphere. It's like the ball, okay? Sphere hasn't any edges. The shape which has zero faces, zero edges, and zero vertices, we call it sphere. Question seven. The cylinder has two bases. We call it cylinder. Two bases are congruent. Each of them we call it circle. Choose letter C. Question 8. The flat face of cone is what? We have the cone here, flat face is circle. It's a circle. Choose letter C about question 8. Circle. Choose letter C. Question 10. 9. Question 9. Square pyramid has space triangle faces. We can draw pyramid, squared pyramid, put the shape in space and then put the point out and then draw from this point to each vertex. Then we have how many, how many faces here? One, two, three, and four. Four faces. Question nine shows that are E. Question 10. Number of vertices of cube or number of vertices of cuboid? They are equal. Cuboid, we call it what? Rectangular prism. Do you know it? Okay, I will draw here the cube. It's the cube here. The number of vertices here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 vertices. And what about cuboid? Cuboid here, which face of it we called it what rectangle. 
Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These vertices, 0 are equal. Good chance, 11. All edges lenses are equal in what? In cube. In the cube, all sides are equal in lenses. Or edges equal in lenses. Shows that are A about question 11. Question 12. In which of the following you can find? Cube, sphere, rectangular prism. You can find this shape here. We call it rectangle yes this rectangle okay because we have two dimensions adjacent not equal lenses rectangle we can find it in rectangular prism show the letter c rectangular prism question 13 the pieces of cardis can form what we have this here square and we can put the point and draw four faces triangle. Then we call it the pyramid. Square the pyramid. Shows that RC. About question 30. Understood? Do you know this again? We call this prism. Do you know prism? This prism. And this we call it sphere sphere hasn't any face or vertices and any edges and what about cube the cube has six faces six faces 12 edges eight vertices and what about cuboid we can call it cuboid or rectangular prism rectangular prism three dimensions we have three dimensions here x and y and z length and width and height we call it length and width and height and the next next lesson we will study the volume of cuboid length times width times height the volume about cuboid or we can call it rectangular prism and the volume of cube Lens times lens times lens. We can call it volume equal cubic lens or lens power three. It's the volume of cube. This is the next lesson. Okay. And what about the pyramid? We have square the pyramid here. Draw square in the base or parallelogram and then put the point here and draw from this point four edges here. Okay, you can draw this. It's very easy. You must know all properties about these dimensions, three dimensions. Okay, goodbye.